James Webb James Webb Telescope findings of the James Webb Telescope have undermined the case for the Big Bang after two years of operation the James Webb Space Telescope has revealed anomalies that contradict established cosmological models challenging our present knowledge of the universe it has discovered extraordinarily bright early galaxies cast out on when galaxies formed detected enormous black holes in young galaxies and shown that older g lack heavy elements now astronomers are able to use. The James Webb Telescope's unprecedented vision to see something they've never been able to resolve before and this unprecedented telescope is changing our understanding of the universe what are the discoveries made by this groundbreaking telescope join us as we explore the physics bending effects of the James Webb Telescope's deep field image. With Flamingo NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has turned its sharp eyes on a distant patch of sky made famous by its predecessor the Hubble Ultra Deep. Field is a distant area in the constellation Fornax sometimes called the Furnace and a recently released JWST snapshot depicts it astronomers have long considered the Hubble Ultra Deep Field an extremely fertile hunting ground due to its abundance of galaxies that span the first eight 100 million years after the Big Bang suggesting a possible formation mechanism for the first galaxies in late. 2003 NASA's Hubble Space Telescope captured the first ever photographs of galaxies at the furthest distances ever known as it examined this region of the universe at the time Hubble's representative said this record was unlikely to be surpassed until the James Webb Space Telescope came onto the stage the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered yet another cosmic enigma although many scientists do not believe this light should be detectable astronomers can detect it. Because it was emitted billions of years ago by some of the oldest galaxies the reason behind this is that during a critical period in the history of our universe known as reionization when the first stars started to shine the gas that had been produced by the Big Bang the explosive event that had formed our cosmos was abundant in space the light from the early galaxies and stars should be obscured by this dense gas however this is not the case the light that early hydrogen atoms emitted is visible to the naked eye light from hydrogen atoms in the early universe which should have been completely obstructed by the perfect neutral gas that was created after the Big Bang was one of the most perplexing difficulties that earlier discoveries brought to light in an effort to decipher this inexplicable emission numerous theories have been advanced in the past however a convincing solution has been offered by the Webb telescope which uses a massive mirror to detect really dim light and resolve incredibly fairway objects the inexplicable light that was previously seen emanating from a specific old galaxy is actually coming from multiple galaxies Webb discovered that these emissions originate from clusters of galaxies which were previously invisible to our naked eye because galaxies frequent collide the early universe was a very dynamic place where galaxies were crashing and merging scientists discovered that this intense process galaxy collisions fueling the rapid birth of new stars not only produced powerful light emissions but also made it possible for the light to escape into space the Surprising hydrogen emission from some of the first galaxies is now better understood because of Webb's discovery that instead of a single giant galaxy as saw there is actually a cluster of smaller galaxies interacting with one another with the ultimate aim of deducing the origins of galaxies like our Milky Way astronomers will keep pointing Webb toward the most primordial galaxies that ever existed another Juest finding clarifies long-standing questions about planet formation namely the amount of time young worlds have to absorb gas before it dissipates there are more stony objects in planetary systems like our solar system than gas ones according to scientists inside our solar system you'll find the inner planets such as Mercury Venus Earth and Mars as well as objects in the asteroid belt and Kuiper belt like Pluto in contrast gas makes up the majority of Jupiter Saturn Uranus and Neptune's mass the fact that planet forming dis initially contain 100 times as much gas as solids has long been recognized by scientists, but the subject of when and how the majority of gas leaves a young planetary system remains an important one by observing the gas being dispersed by the winds of a planetary disk scientists were able to witness the end of planetary formation with the help of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope this new information helps to explain long-standing questions about planet formation, such as how much gas nent worlds may absorb before they fade away when stars are born. They are encircled by a gaseous and mineral-rich planetary formation dis, which is where planets are born the familiar planets and asteroids should eventually develop as the materials in this disk clump together a process called accretion to better understand how much time gaseous planets have to absorb gas from their environment knowing when the gas disperses is crucial discovering how planets develop is made possible by JST's UNP paralleled views into the disks surrounding young stars which 
are the birthplaces of planets planets originate in a dis of gas and dust that revolves around a young star in the early phases of planetary system formation planetesimals form as these particles clump together and grow into increasingly large chunks planets are formed when planet tamals crash and cling to one another over time material availability and retention time in the dis determine the formation of planets as well as their size position and kind in a nutshell the disk's evolution and Dispersion determine the result of planet formation it can be challenging to investigate a planetary formation from a distance due to the extended time it can take nonetheless this is now far more likely to happen thanks to the Jamie's Webb Space Telescope the star Tia sometimes spelled Tantes or Hype 588285 is the focus of the investigation because of its youth it is known that Charcha which is about 335 light years from Earth contains a planetary formation disk researchers were already aware of. This and have visualized it. The latest development, however, is that the researchers have successfully visualized the gas dispersal WS that are aiding in the disk's erosion among the gases that were found were argon and the noble gases neon. What makes this so so intriguing is that it provides more evidence that the gaseous components of planetary formation disks are not completely mysterious, there are more rocky worlds and objects in most solar systems than gaseous ones, just like ours, Jupiter. Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are the gas giants in our solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the rocky planets. There are also many moons and asteroids in our solar system, as well as an unknown number of moons and rocks in the Kuiper Belt and Oort cloud. Regardless, gas makes up around 100 times the amount of solid matter in planetary formation disks, so the vast majority of gas must be escaping from the solar system. And the dis, in some way, specifically at present, the gas being spread by TCHAs. Disk is equal to the mass of Earth's moon, and this amount is increasing annually, but how is that accomplished? Obviously the winds are the answer, but the winds in issue must be propelled by something both the stellar photons and the magnetic field that encircles the disk where planets are being formed could be the sources of these winds. N. Barge of the University of Arizona's Lunar and Planetary Laboratory recently led a study that aims to answer these questions the group captured pictures of A. Young planetary system often called a circumstellar disk actively releasing its gas into space using the James Webb Space Telescope the gas that slowly escapes the planet forming disk is called the disk wind and Bajaj and his colleagues were the first to image it astronomers use the telescope sensitivity to detect atomic emission which occurs when an atom loses an electron or electrons due to exposure to high energy radiation emitted light during ionization can be used as a chemical fingerprint to trace two noble gases neon and argon in the TCH system this process is called ionitation in addition the team states in the publication that their findings are the first to detect double argon ionitation in a dis that is creating planets our photos neon signatures indicate that the dis wind is emanating from a wide area distant from the disk depending on the situation these winds could be propelled either by the star's light or by the magnetic field that runs through the dis where planets are being formed the same team this time under the direction of Andrew Selick a postdoctoral researcher at the Dutch University Leiden ran simulations of the dispersion produced by stellar photons the powerful light emitted by the newborn star to try to distinguish between the two. They checked these models against the data and discovered that dispersion by high-energy star photons could account for the data, so it's not completely out of the question according to that research the Charger disk releases as much gas into space each year. As the moon does although neon signatures had been found in numerous other celestial bodies it was not until 2007 with NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope the predecessor of JWST that they were first identified as a tracer of disk winds by LPL. Professor Araria Pucci efforts to comprehend gas distribution from circumstellar disks were redirected by those early results with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope. We have discovered spatially resolved neon emission and the first observation of doubly ionized argon. These findings have the potential to revolutionize our knowledge of gas clearance from a planet forming disk the past and present of our solar system can be better understood with the aid of these discoveries furthermore the Team has shown that the inner disk of Chor is changing over very small periods of decades. They also discovered that the JWST spectra are different from the Spitzer spectrum from earlier in time, a tiny asymmetric disk within Chor that has lost mass in the 17 years between the two observations could thus account for this discrepancy consistent with previous research. This points to the disk of Chor having reached the end of its evolutionary cycle in our lifetimes. We may be able to see the dust. Mass in TCHA's inner disk disperse.
while that this was going on the James Webb Space Telescope found the oldest black hole to date which further puzzled astronomers regarding when the universe came into being the black hole dates back more than 13 billion years to roughly 430 million years after the Big Bang that's a blip in cosmic time the universe was in its infancy when this black hole was devouring its home galaxy it predates the record-breaking black hole that Webb disclosed in November by over 40 million years this new discovery is further confusing scientists on the Big Bang as the size of the black hole is significantly larger than previously thought how black holes grew so massive so rapidly is a mystery to scientists when stars die they collapse into extremely dense objects. Called black holes the gravitational pull of these black holes is so strong that not even light can escape them the black hole can then engulf more and more galactic material expanding in its size this recently found black hole has asked several million times that of our sun according to what we know now the process should have taken almost a billion years to reach that magnitude this old black hole had to pull off an incredible growth spurt in just 400 million years considering its age it is prematurely too large it's the equivalent of walking into a kindergarten class and spotting a five-year-old who is either six t tall or weighs 150 pounds how however it is a tremendous achievement to have detected this most recent massive black hole at the earliest possible stage of the universe's development it appears that this old black hole is devouring its galaxy's gas at a rate that is significantly higher than that of its later contemporaries actually scientists believe it is destroying the galaxy due to its extremely rapid gas consumption which is generating a wind of gas that could prevent the formation of new stars. That extraterrestrial hedonism may reveal a crucial piece of the puzzle maybe. The initial black holes just absorbed matter at a rate five times greater than what physicists had anticipated the early universe was teeming with gas making it an ideal feeding ground for black holes subsequently early black holes may have been large when they were born then yet another cosmic wormhole would be opened how something so enormous might have come into being in the early cosmos. Is a mystery looking back at the early cosmos with Webb is like taking a nighttime leap from Galileo's telescope to a state-of-the-art one as Webb continues to stare into the distance getting closer to the origin of everything and our comprehension of it it may potentially find even older black holes an arrangement of ten faraway galaxies denoted by eight white circles in a diagonal thread-like line is shown in this deep galaxy field. From Webb's near camera distant and bright quasar a galaxy with an active supermassive black hole at its center anchors this filament which is three million light-years. Long two of the circles contained several galaxies the ten designated galaxies were around for less than 830 million years, following the Big Bang. There is more to this than a random assortment of ten galaxies this is a filament in its delicate early stages the entire visible universe is covered by the cosmic web the greatest pattern in existence all galaxies make up the cosmic web which gets its name from the fact that they are connected in a massive web-like pattern eventually filaments will form. Due to the pull of gravity, there was a time when the universe was remarkably consistent with one another however those variations expanded gradually over countless millions of years evolving from little gas tendrils into enormous filaments composed of thousands of galaxies the James Webb Space Telescope has provided astronomers with a unique window into the early stages of this enormous cosmic building endeavor since they have discovered the filaments germinal stages furthermore for the last 10. Years or more cosmologists have been unable to solve a particularly difficult riddle a key figure related to the age and composition of the universe the present day expansion rate has been measured differently, and this discrepancy has led to the debate cosmological probes of different types are providing rather diverse results there is cause for concern because the difference is statistically significant despite its minuscule size this picture is a composite of images taken of spiral galaxy NGC. 5584 by Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3 and Webb's Near Infrared Camera The galaxy hosts Cephe variables, which are rhythmic star systems and tire supernova a subset of stellar explosions, and is located 72 million light-years from Earth The pace of expansion of the cosmos is measured by astronomers using these particular astronomical events as benchmarks from blaming insufficient data to proposing a full rewrite of our physical rules Cosmologists have given a wide range of answers The James Webb Space telescope allow astronomers to help by verifying the existence of an issue and the fact that the big ring on the sky structure has been found raises serious questions about our current level of cosmic comprehension this freshly discovered big ring on the sky is the second ultra-large object found by Alexia Lopez a PhD student from the University of Central Lancashire in the UK. With a diameter of 1.3 billion light-years this structure is situated 9.2 billion light-years from Earth the extremely 
Massive giant arc on the sky, which Lopez found two years ago go is also in the vicinity our present knowledge of the cosmos does not make it straightforward to explain any of these two extremely massive structures according to astronomers it casts doubt on the cosmological principle. The foundation of our present-day knowledge of the cosmos philosophically speaking the cosmological principle has a lengthy history at its most fundamental level it's the belief that the cosmos is essentially the same. Everywhere the cosmos is extremely uneven on tiny scales the cosmos contains celestial bodies such as stars galaxies, and galaxy clusters which are distributed unevenly throughout space however on large scales the cosmos is believed to be relatively uniform this principle forms the basis of the cosmological models that describe the large-scale structure of the universe if these giant structures are confirmed to exist they would challenge this fundamental principle and force a re-evaluation of our understanding of the universe at large the James Webb Space Telescope's observations have also shed light on the nature of dark matter a mysterious substance that makes up about 27% of the universe's mass energy content yet emits no light and interacts weakly with ordinary matter dark matter is thought to play a crucial role in the formation and evolution of galaxies and the large-scale structure of the cosmos using the gravitational lensing effect where the gravity of massive objects bends and Magnifies light from more distant objects astronomers have been able to map the distribution of dark matter in galaxy clusters one such cluster known as Abel 3827 was observed by the James Webb Space Telescope revealing intricate details of dark matter distribution in the cluster this observation confirmed predictions from dark matter models and provided valuable insights into the nature of this elusive substance the James Webb Space Telescope has truly revolutionized our understanding of the universe from its discoveries of ancient galaxies and black holes to its insights into planet formation and dark matter it continues to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos and inspire new questions and avenues of research for astronomers around the world.